Be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all the people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, Fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do to this man. Some time ago, Theudas appeared, claiming to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed. And all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas the Galilean at the time of the census. He also drew people after him, but he too perished, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with this man, and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they had them flogged, ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus, and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Christ, Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. Please stand. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. 
the Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred days' wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what good are these for so many? Jesus said, Have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place, so the men reclined, about five thousand in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the great gift of Easter is the gift of faith given to us in baptism. Ang biyaya po ng pagkabuhay ni Jesus ay ang ating pananampalataya sa Kanya na tinanggap natin noong bininyagan tayo. And we are reminded today, my dear brothers and sisters, that faith is not just recognizing Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. The fullness of faith can be seen not just in recognizing Jesus, but in standing for Jesus. Malalaman mo, naganap na ang pananampalataya mo, hindi lamang kapag kinilala mo na si Jesus, kundi kapag kaya mo nang tumindig para kay Jesus. Your faith is full if you are already able to stand for your faith, to stand for Jesus. We will see this in the experience of the apostles in our first reading today. When they were preaching the faith and the Sanhedrin, the high priests, they were stopping them, they jailed them, they flogged them, they threatened them not to preach Jesus. But in the end, they were instead joyful to recognize that they were able to suffer in order to preach the name of Jesus. They saw this as an honor for them, that they were able to stand for their faith. Masayang masaya sila na hindi lamang sila binigyan ng pagkakataon ipahayag ang pangalan ni Jesus, kundi masaya sila na sila ay nagdusa 
at kaya nilang tumindig para kay Jesus. Kaya po, bilang mga binyagang Kristiyano, wag lamang po nating tanungin ang sarili natin na kinikilala mo na ba si Jesus? Tanungin din natin ang ating mga sarili, kaya mo na bang manindigan para kay Jesus? Yan ang buong-buo na pananampalataya sa Kanya. And we can also see this in our gospel reading today in the image of the boy who gave his five pieces of bread and his two pieces of fish. Sa dinami-dami ng mga tao, limang libo na tao, isa lang ang nagbigay ng pagkain, yung batang lalaki. At ilan lang ang kanyang binigay? Limang tinapay, dalawang isda. Kaya halos pagtawanan siya nung apostol, si Andres. Sabi niya, we have a boy here who has five loaves and two fish. But what good is this for 5,000? But Jesus recognized the faith of this little child. My dear brothers and sisters, we will know that our faith is full if we do not just ask from God, but we are already able to give for God. Malalaman po natin na puno na ang pananampalataya natin kapag hindi na lang tayo puro hingi sa Diyos. Malalaman mong puno na ang pananalig mo sa Kanya kapag kaya mo na ring magbigay para sa Kanya at para sa kapwa. Yan ang buong-buong pananampalataya at pananalig sa Diyos. This is exemplified and expressed by Jesus in the image of Him blessing the bread, breaking it, and distributing it to people. This is a sign of the Eucharist and His death on the cross. That is the greatest faith that can be shown, a faith that gives. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate St. Catherine of Siena. She was a member of the Dominican order. She was supposed to just live a contemplative life, a life of prayer and holiness. But St. Catherine of Siena because of her holiness, led her to help leaders, kings, and popes to make peace with one another, to keep the unity of the church. Si Santa Catalina ng Siena ay isang madre na muhay ng kabanalan at pagdarasal. Pero dahil sa kanyang buhay ng kabanalan, siya rin ay naging instrumento ng kapayapaan sa mga bansa, kapayapaan sa simbahan, pagkakaisa sa simbahan. Sabi nga sa kanya, minsan ay criticized si Santa Catalina. She was criticized because she was meddling in politics. Sabi sa kanya, ba't ka ba nakikialam sa politika? Bakit ka ba nakikialam sa, sa mga gawain ng tao? Magdasal ka na lang sa kumbento mo. Pero para sa kanya, ang buong-buong pananampalataya ay kapag marunong ka ng manindigan para sa Diyos. Mga minamahal na kapatid, sa misang ito, ipanalangin natin kay Santa Catalina isang babae, pero marunong manindigan para kay Jesus. Manalangin tayo sa tulong niya 
na tayo nawa bilang mga Kristiyano ay hindi lamang manampalataya sa pangalan, sa salita, kundi ang pananampalataya natin ay maging buo sa pagtindig natin para kay Jesus. Amen. Please stand. In the miracle of the feeding of 5,000 people, our Lord shows us the Father will give us everything we need. Let us ask Him for all the good things He can provide us. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the leaders of the church may show the same compassion that prompted Jesus to feed the hungry crowd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That Christians may imitate the young boy and share what they possess with the underprivileged. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that young people may find Christ as the satisfaction for their thirst and hunger. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may receive physical and spiritual help from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that we may have a peaceful, honest, and credible elections and that we may elect leaders who uphold the values we hold dear as Christians and Filipinos. Faith in God, truthfulness, integrity, decency, and concern for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may come to the eternal feast in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear the prayers of your people gathered to offer and receive the eternal gift, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up 
your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through Him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For His death is our ransom from death, and in His rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourished the life of St. Catherine, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.